Well, in business news, investors are selling shares of Nigerian banks on Wednesday, just one day after the Central Bank of Nigeria suspended nine lenders from foreign exchange transactions. For the details, Africa 54 business correspondent Jill Malandrino joins us live from New York. Hi, Jill. Hey, Vincent. So just because things are bad does not mean they can't get worse when it comes to economics in Nigeria. According to the Central Bank of Nigeria, the banks had failed to remit $2.1 million, billion, dollars, excuse me, which was the government's share of dividends from the state-owned gas company NLNG. The banks were supposed to pay the company into the government's account at the Central Bank. Last year, President Buhari ordered government payments to be made into one single central bank account as part of his pledge to fight corruption. Now, it seems like the Central Bank of Nigeria has made many uh, or rather several policy changes throughout this year, but it doesn't seem like it has helped the Naira, right? Right. Well, we tend to focus on Nigeria when discussing business and economics in Africa, as it is the continent's largest economy, even with the decline in the Naira. But it is now suffering its worst financial crisis in decades as a slump in oil revenue hammers public finances and the Naira. That is certainly lending to the decline in value of the currency, and the CBM believes a recession is likely. The bank floated the currency in June to attract investment, allowing the Naira to fall by 40 percent against the dollar. But foreign investors, they stayed away. They were on the sidelines. It actually didn't come to buy Naira. So it's making the central bank the main supplier of dollars. Trade remains thin and liquidity is tight on the foreign exchange market. And just like with stocks, thinner liquidity creates more volatility because price moves are more exaggerated. And ultimately, this gets passed on to the Nigerian consumer, uh, right? Right, because the majority of the basic goods sold in Nigeria are imported overseas. It's about 80 percent imported. Therefore, as the Naira continues to freefall, the wholesalers and retails of goods will have to adjust the prices of their products upwards to reflect the amount being paid for these goods since they are paid for in dollars. This is a basic definition of inflation. It also makes borrowing more difficult. Now, analysts at NKC African Economics expect this volatility to continue in the near term, but think the CBN's policy to float the Naira will eventually normalize in the latter part of 2017. The next near-term catalyst that I'm looking for is the Federal Reserve raising interest rates potentially in 2016. That would move the dollar higher against Naira, and increasing dollar could make Nigerian imports more expensive and further impact the Naira. So that's really what we're looking for next. We'll be watching. As always, thank you very much, uh, Jail, for your reporting.